Top 10 Facts About Koalas Koalas are unquestionably one of Australia's most well-known species. It's easy to see why, because these cute marsupials have the potential to melt even the toughest hearts in an instant. Koalas aren't bears, contrary to common opinion. They have nothing to do with bears. The koala belongs to the same family as the kangaroo and the wombat. Because of its teddy bear-like shape, the koala is called a koala bear. Rainforests and deserts are not home to koalas. They can be found on mainland eastern Australia's tall eucalypt forests and low eucalypt woodlands, as well as on several islands off the southern and eastern coasts. Koalas can only be found in the wild in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia. In this video, we will talk about the top 10 facts about koalas. Before we get to number 10, I would like you to like our video, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and click on that bell icon so you can be notified anytime we post a new video. Let's get to the top 10 facts about koalas. Number 10. Joey Baby koalas are known as joeys, like the kangaroos. These blind and furless marsupials are around the size of a peanut when they are born and spend the first six months of their lives in their mother's pouch. It relies on its well-developed senses of smell and touch, powerful forelimbs and claws, and an inborn sense of direction on its incredible journey to the pouch. It binds itself to one of the two teats in the pouch, which swells in its mouth, prevents it from being pulled away from its food supply. The pouch of a female koala opens from the outside, enabling the mother to travel up tree branches. You must be thinking about what they eat in that closed pouch. So, yeah, baby koalas eat their mother's droppings. Pap is a kind of soup that forms in a mother koala's cecum and is excreted. The material is filled with microorganisms that will help them prepare their tiny digestive tracts for a lifetime of consuming poisonous leaves for lunch. The joey rides on its mother's abdomen or back after leaving the pouch, but it returns to the pouch for milk until it is too wide to fit inside. Depending on when the mother has her next joey, the joey leaves its mother's home when it is about one or three years old. Number 9. Picky Eaters Koalas eat eucalyptus leaves up to one kilogram per day, but they're picky on which ones they eat. Of almost half of Australia's 700 species of eucalyptus trees, they only consumed 50 species. For their next meal, they often ascend to the peaks of the tallest trees where the juiciest, most nutrient-dense leaves can be found. Eucalyptus leaves are poisonous to the majority of species. Koalas, on the other hand, have a cacum, a special fiber-digesting organ that assists in the detoxification of the chemicals present in the leaves. Number 8. They don't drink a lot of water. The term koala comes from the aboriginal word for no drink, since they get much of their water from the leaves of eucalyptus trees. On exceptionally hot summer days, however, eucalyptus leaves dry out, and koalas may need to drink more water to support their diet. If you come across a thirsty koala during bushfire season or a heat wave, don't spill water directly into their mouth from your glass. They must drink the liquid at their own time, or the water will enter their lungs, resulting in pneumonia. Number 7. They sleep for at least 20 hours. Wow. We thought cats were the masters of napping. The koala, on the other hand, has got that beat. Koalas have a reputation for being sleepy and lazy as they sleep between 18 and 22 hours per day. This is one of the koala realities that is attributed to the koala's nutrient-poor diet. The koala has evolved to require very little energy to survive. One way it accomplishes this is by only foraging for four hours a day. The koala spends most of its time resting. When it comes to finding a place to sleep, the koala doesn't have to look far. The majority of koalas feed and sleep in the same tree. This may explain why koalas are so often photographed. They've been in the same tree for over a day and don't seem to be moving much. Number 6. Fingerprints like humans Koalas, like humans, have fingerprints. In fact, they're so similar to human fingerprints that it's virtually impossible to tell the two apart, even under a microscope. Koalas have thumbs as well, but they have a total of four. On each front paw, they have two opposable thumbs for jumping, grabbing trees, and grasping food. 
while the second and third digits on their hind paws are fused together to form a grooming claw. Number 5. Endangered or not? The Aussie icon may lose to climate change, disease, habitat degradation, and automobiles, but not if committed conservationists are given the resources they need to safeguard the species. Unfortunately, the number of koalas has been dwindling year after year. Then Australia was devastated by the most destructive and unimaginable bushfire season. Sadly, almost 3 billion animals died, many of which were found nowhere else on the planet. Many endangered Australian species, such as koalas, have now been driven even closer to extinction. Number 4. Chlamydia Chlamydia is an organism that resides in most healthy koalas' body tissues. We believe that chlamydia, which acts as an inbuilt population control mechanism so that only the strongest and fittest animals survive to breed. Chlamydia can make koalas ill, but only when they are stressed, such as when their habitat is damaged and they are forced to deal with threats such as vehicles, pets, and a lack of food. In the late 1990s, chlamydia-free koalas were introduced into Victoria's Mount Eccles National Park, which had a significant population of mana gum trees. Koala numbers doubled every few years without chlamydia to control the population, and thousands of hectares of forests were threatened before hormonal contraception was implemented. The regions in which chlamydia-free koalas were introduced, the koalas destroyed the trees and then died of starvation. Number 3. They hug trees during hot days. Mammals in Australia face a significant risk of overheating during the hot summer months, cooling by evaporation, which occurs through sweating, panting, or fur licking, is an important route for mammals and birds to lose heat. The problem is that evaporative cooling is expensive. Vast quantities of water are lost, and animals must use other heat loss mechanisms to prevent overheating and dehydration when water is scarce. Koalas, in particular, get most of their water from the eucalyptus leaves they eat, and during dry periods, they do not even have access to water. This means that they must cool down using other physiological or behavioral mechanisms in order to preserve water. Thermal cameras were used by scientists to study koalas and trees. They found that when the weather was hot, the animals migrated to the lower parts of the trees and pushed up against the trunks, their butts wedged right into the coolest spots. Number 2. White Koala Koalas with fur that isn't gray have been reported, but they are extremely rare. Mick an exceptionally rare white koala with white fur and black eyes and nose was treated and released in 2007 at the Port Macquarie Koala Hospital. Albino koalas are white koalas with pink eyes and noses that were born in 1985 at the San Diego Zoo. Number 1. Home Trees The house of each koala is made up of many trees known as home trees. They return to the same trees on a daily basis. The koala's home range is the area occupied by these trees. Each koala has a home range that overlaps with that of other koalas. They don't usually visit another koala's home tree unless they're breeding. The size of each home range is determined by a number of factors, including habitat quality and the sex, age, and social status of the koala population. A mature male's white chest has a dark scent gland in the middle that emits a dark, sticky substance. He rubs this on his trees to prove that this is his territory to other koalas. That's the end of our list of the top 10 facts about koalas. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest video updates. Is there anything you want to share with us? We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for checking out our video.